In this video, I'll be doing a short walk around with the 2024 Nissan Navara Pro 4X which comes with a good number of improvements for this model year mainly in the cabin, not so much on the outside although it looks pretty good I think but before checking out the video, don't forget to support our channel by slapping that subscribe button as well as the bell icon so you'll know when we have a new car or truck review from Thailand ขอบคุณครับ In terms of pricing, the Navara Pro 4X is the top variant in the Navara lineup in Thailand. This one's uh, priced at 1.175 million. But uh, if you want to spend less, you can go for the Pro 2X model. That one's uh, 1.045 million, so you can save about 130,000 baht without the four-wheel drive system. But uh, you know what? Uh, along the model lineup, you also have uh, the lower models including the Caliber uh, double cap models as well as the king cap models and single cap model as well. So price starts at only 605,000 baht for the SL6MT single cap right up to 1.175 million for this uh, top Pro 4X version. Okay, let's check out the exterior design of the Navara Pro 4X. Actually, uh, there aren't uh, any changes at all except for the short fin antenna which we'll get to later in terms of lighting uh, LED lighting with these are quad eye LEDs with a daytime running light this will be the daytime running light as well as uh, fog lamps so on top here I've got the Navara lettering so this one also stands out very colorful Nissan uh, lettering in the middle of the front grill and down here also some more ac accents left and right so a little bit of uh, colorful accents around the Navara Pro 4X moving on to the side see uh, some more here at the back as well the exterior for this Pro 4X is stealth gray but due to the bright lighting in this studio, uh, it doesn't stand out so much, it's kind of pale, but on the road, it will stand out very nicely. And there's a lot of black styling involved for the Pro 4X. These are 18-inch glossy black wheels with uh, all-terrain tires, Yokohama Joe Lander. And uh, around the exterior, you find a lot of glossy black garnishing. The side step also black, door handles roof rack lots of uh, black garnishing around pro 4x sticker over here and the only new feature for the 2024 pro 4x is this shark fin antenna okay let's move on to the rear end led tail lights the rear bumper comes with like anti-slip material but I don't think it's, it's that anti-slip not sure but uh, yeah let's can step on it and get access to the pickup bed without having to open the tailgate the camera there let's check out also easy uh, lift function for the tailgate 
it's a small uh, thingy over here that helps uh, make it a bit lighter when you have to open and close this tailgate. The pickup bed comes with four hook points. One, two, three, four over there. Got a Nissan logo as well. Okay, let's close this one. Yeah, very light, easy to close. These are the lighting for the license plate. Most of the updates are inside the cabin. Okay, uh, all new console over here, but uh, let's check, before checking out the interior, let's check out the engine first. The Navara comes with the same engine, although uh, for 2024, the emission is better. They have improved the emission, so now it's uh, wow. This uh, engine compartment it is really heavy, so. Uh, Unlike the tailgate, this is really heavy, but okay, you don't need to you know, open it up too often. This twin turbo 2.3 liter diesel produces a maximum 190 horsepower and 450 newton meters of torque. And for this updated version, uh, it passes the Euro 5 emission standards as well. So whenever the DPF light uh, shows up on the dashboard, you can just press a button and uh, it will start cleaning up the uh, diesel particulates. Which uh, this one is, is the new feature that helps it achieve the Euro 5 emission levels. The transmission is a 7-speed automatic in this uh, Navara Pro 4X with a manual shift mode as well. Okay, let's check out the interior starting off with the seats. Uh, the driver's seat is uh, powered, 8-way adjustable and uh, comes with nice uh, badging over here as well as uh, orange stitching. So inside the cabin you find a lot, a lot of this orange st stitching here as well. Door panel here, down here large enough for 1.5 liter water bottle automatic up and down for the driver's window and uh, yeah this is acoustic glass the windshield front windshield as well as the front windows are made from acoustic glass to help a lower wind noise or noise from outside uh, ensuring um, a more uh, quiet cabin I like this steering wheel a lot, uh, looks nice, especially with this colorful Nissan logo in the middle, multi-function steering wheel, thumb rest over there. The front passenger seat is manual though, uh, not powered like uh, the driver's side. Okay, let's start off with the steering wheel multi-function steering wheel with the Nissan logo in the middle lots of controls over here unfortunately the driver display is not fully digital we get analog uh, rev counter on the left and uh, speedometer on the right but you get a small screen in the middle between these two gauges so just uh, average in terms of driver display but you do get a nine inch uh, touch screen in in the middle with the Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, but Apple Club, Apple CarPlay is wireless, but Android Auto, uh, you need to hook up your phone through these uh, USB ports. You get the USB C as USB A, so two types of USB ports, which is nice. This whole uh, console is new, so uh, a lot of people has been complaining about the design of the console. So for this model year, Nissan decided to offer a totally new console so new air vents as well we still get a manual handbrake which uh, i like you know <laughs> you can do handbrake turns not the electronic type but in terms of uh, four-wheel drive you get uh, shift on the fly 
So you can switch between two-wheel drive and four-wheel drive at any speeds below 100 km per hour, which is good. You can do that here. Controls for the aircon still are manual, not in integrated into the screen. So comes with a metallic dials with a nice feel. So as, as mentioned, uh, this is the control for the aircon metallic uh, dials, and down here. Uh, transfer case, selector, two-wheel drive, four-wheel drive. When you push it, you can get to four low. USB-C, USB-A, and power outlet, 12 volt. And shift lever for the seven-speed automatic. There's a small shift lock button over there in case you need to double park so you can uh, leave the car in neutral. Press and Yep, you can leave it in neutral. Moving down here, rear diff lock button, uh, hill descent control, as well as uh, this is the DPF button. So uh, if this light shows, uh, the, if the DPF or light shows on the driver display, you can just uh, press this to get rid of the diesel particulates. Handbrake, as mentioned, uh, manual type. I like it. I can do handbrake turns. And let's check out the hey, some more orange stitching over here. Let's check out the star, which not too big, you know, quite small actually. But uh, you do get one more uh, 12 volt outlet in addition to this one. So two. Two cup holders over there. Both uh, mirrors got lighting. Good. And on top here, sunglass holder and buttons for the interior lighting. So for the new console, uh, despite the new design, the top part is still uh, not soft touch, still a little bit plasticky. But uh, in front, yeah, these are soft touch with orange stitching, soft touch, soft touch, stitching, and some trim over here. Average size uh, glove box. And start the car, but let's uh, see what's going on. I didn't step on the brake, so the engine won't start. So. This is the 9 inch center screen. This one comes with uh, Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Although uh, only the Apple CarPlay is wireless for Android Auto, you'll need to connect your phone to one of these uh, USB ports. You get both types USB C, USB A. Let's see the menu. So I haven't connected anything, but uh, the screen looks nice. Nine inch touch screen in the center. Press the start button again. So we get uh, two analog gauges, uh, ref counter on the left, speedo on the right, and uh, display screen, a color uh, screen, small one in the center. Okay, so well, let's check out the rear seats in the Pro 4X. I'm a six-footer, 183 centimeters. So I just adjusted this uh, driver's seat to my dimensions. And right now I've got a little bit of uh, knee room left. Not too much. Headroom. Okay, the headroom is nice. Uh, won't be a problem. And uh, there... It's also a an armrest over here with two cup holders, but uh, you put a drink here, you, you can put your hand there. You gotta do it like, like that. So should have something that comes out, or maybe a longer one. Too bad. And you've got a uh, pouches both sides to store up things. And I'll show you something more over here. There we got uh, another USB-C, USB-A port as well as uh, 
air vents, rear door panel, uh, mostly plasticky, but you do get some soft touch over here. And down here for sure, you can put a 1.5 liter bottle. So not bad there. Okay, so that wraps up our short walk around of the 2024 Nissan Navara Pro 4X in stealth gray. If you enjoyed the video, please consider supporting our channel. We got only 18,000 followers, very little compared to the others by slapping that subscribe button as well as sharing or uh, hitting the like and bell icon so you know when we have a new car or truck review from Thailand. Well, that's all from me today. Sorry crap.